Hi guys, so I'm in Parkland Walk in uh, Highgate in North London um, with my RB67 today. Just shooting a test roll. So I've been shooting a lot more black and white lately. I tend to shoot mostly kind of colour. Um, but I sort of got back into it and uh, I've started developing my own black and white film. But the first couple of rolls I developed, I had a few issues. It's either something to do with my uh, the hardness of my water causing some specks on the images or not washing my tank well enough and there's some C41 chemicals left over on it. Um, so I'm shooting a test roll today to then develop and kind of try and figure out what the issues there are. Um, the roll that I'm shooting is some foam pan film. The um, reason I picked this film is I had a roll lying around. I tend to, whenever I shoot black and white, I'll shoot Ilford if it's medium format and foam pan is what I've used for 35mm. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go on medium format. The roll was about £3.75 or something. It's super, super cheap. So I'm going to see how it stands up compared to Ilford. Um, it's 100 speed film and basically I'm just having a walk around and seeing what I find, what seems interesting. There's a couple of shots I've been really keen to get for a while on black and white but just haven't had a roll loaded. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along. While I'm out shooting today, I'm trying to use uh, one of my favorite kind of features of the RB and RZ system cameras, um, which is its focusing system. So on a traditional camera, you'll kind of twist the lens and the internal elements or a part of the lens will move and that's how it focuses closer or further away. Whereas with the Mamiya, the lens stays put, nothing moves, but what does move is this plate it's attached to on a bellows system. So it's similar to how a kind of 5.4 or 10.8 large format camera will work. And what it means is you can get really, really close and you can focus very, very close to your subject, which is great for detail work, which is something in turn that I do a lot on black and white. For color, I quite often look for kind of light and color combinations, and it's kind of a bigger picture thing. Black and white, what I love is the tone and the detail and all the intricate little things that you might miss if you're concentrating on the color. Um, so I'm gonna have a little walk around the woods and find some really interesting details. Um, I've just found a tree that I wanna photograph and uh, see how it looks.
I've just come back from shooting, um, I've developed my roll of film, I've scanned it and uh, I've been having a little look through on Lightroom and Photoshop and really really happy with the files. Um, so one of the main main reasons today that I was out there was firstly to, to try and hone in this problem of development and secondly to just have a little experiment with Fomapan. Um, so starting with the film, comparing it kind of directly to, to Ilford which is what I'm used to using so I guess the 100 speed will be comparable to Ilford FP4 Plus um, and I gotta say I was really really impressed for £3.75 a roll I didn't have uh, massive expectations I was wondering kind of exactly what it would be like I know I've used it on 35mm and the results have been pretty decent but really medium format is where I do most of my work um, and the contrast, the tone, the grain really really happy with it in, in all those aspects it deals with dynamic range fantastically there's one image in there uh, of an underpass that has quite a dark area where the underpass is it also has some quite bright highlights um, so it's interesting to see how that will come out and uh, really impressed with it the grain is as you expect from 100 speed on medium format it's pretty unnoticeable unless you're really really croppy and tight um, you could definitely make some pretty big prints out of these um, and just the tone is lovely, it's very very smooth, it's a lovely gradient between uh, between kind of highlights and shadows, it deals with blacks and whites very well as well. Um, really really impressed. The one downside I'd say, the one place where the, the price starts to show is uh, in the actual quality of the film, of the emulsion. Um, something like Ilford you can feel is quite robust, whereas this does feel very delicate, does feel very fragile, there were quite um, a couple of scratches, particularly in the first first uh, frame where I loaded it onto the spool. Um, not the biggest deal when I'm scanning it really. If I was taking it into a dark room I would definitely stick with Ilford. I would be a little bit worried about that emulsion. But for this use it's fine. You just gotta be a little bit delicate when you're handling it. Um, as for my developing, I said that I was trying to figure out a problem. Um, I'm pretty happy the, the negatives came out fine. Um, I gave my tank a really really deep wash because one of the one things that I thought it might be um, is that some leftover stabilizer from the C41 was splashing onto the film when I was starting to develop and causing these little specks on it. Seems to be that's what it is, uh, which is great. The other option, the other thing I was considering is it might be that I have very hard water in my area um, and that would mean getting distilled water or a water filter. Um, it would really be much more of a hassle, whereas this is just give my equipment a bit of a better clean between, uh, between using it. So yeah, overall, really, really happy. I'm gonna put all of the images um, at the end from this roll. I'm also gonna put some links to all my work down below. Um, let me know what you think of the film, if you've shot Fomapan before. Uh, it'd be cool to hear what, what other people have got results-wise. Um, otherwise, see you next time.